In this video, we're going to provide one more demonstration of the value of user parameters and an interesting use case where several different links are being driven by a single user parameter. In this case, a hinge fraction. Now, this has been defined as having values from 0 to 1, so you can think it as either completely closed or completely open at 1. And the way that we've accomplished this is to go and set up several linear links that effectively have some maximum rotation at each of these hinges in this model, and each of them are linked to the hinge fraction. So at, as this deploys, you'll see that the hinge fraction is controlling how far that hinge is going through its motion. So now that we've seen kind of the how it's set up, let's watch what happens when we drive it. So right now, with the hinge fraction set up to zero, this is completely enclosed. It's just a fun little hexagon shape. But as I drag this over to one, notice that all of those individual hinges are going through their motion until they're all the way straightened out. And so this is another interesting case where you can take a single parameter, link it to several others, and you can create something akin to articulated motion inside VSP through several linkages. Now, Keep in mind that there are some limitations to how this is accomplished. You can do the math under the hood and link these things up in very clever and interesting ways, but make sure that as you're driving it, you're not giving it some intractable problem that has to iterate to find some value. Um, so as long as it's something that's relatively simple and you can drive it through you know, known maximum or zero angles, you can use this hinge fraction to create a stowed or deployed position. So think of something like an, a complex landing gear system. You can make it to where it's either stowed or deployed, driven by a single user parameter.